Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here, and uh, thank you very much to the previous speaker who referred to Mpese uh, quite extensively. I think I'll start by just reminding everyone why it's very important this event, and also thanking Doreen for phrasing it correctly. The SDGs is basically our vision, our common vision. It's the most ambitious vision that we have ever formulated around human progress. And it begins with one pivotal objective, which is eradicating poverty. However, as we heard during these uh, few minutes, we are clearly off track. Today, almost 10% of the world population live in extreme poverty. We have slipped back with an additional 70 million living in extreme poverty since 2019, an additional. And we've just seven years to reverse this trend. So this comes as an opportune moment. I also think the moderator referred rightly that this panel is about hope. It's about figuring out how do we collectively try to turn this around. And I'm here to share with you that I believe it's entirely within our powers, if we put our mind to it, to create the right conditions for everyone to flourish, even the poorest and most marginalized in society. At the core of it, we have one lever, and that's democratizing technology. Vodafone has worked, obviously, across the globe for many, many years, and we have seen firsthand how democratizing technology can improve people's lives and livelihoods. In order to illustrate the point and to bring you on a journey, let me move back to 2007. 2007 was the midpoint of the so-called Millennium Development Goals. It was also the year that iPhone launched what is now considered to be a very small phone. I don't know if you heard about it. It became quite, uh, quite successful. But it was also the year that Vodafone, together with the UK government, started thinking around how could we evolve and how could we launch a new innovative service to tackle the many unbanked that existed in Kenya. And with the help of the UK government, we launched something called M-Pesa. M for mobile. Pesa is basically Swahili for cash. This was a very novel and innovative concept where we thought about how do you convert fiscal cash into electronic transmissions. It allowed people using a simple device like a 2G phone, relying on a simple network, which is a 2G network, to make electronic payments. Today, something that all of us take for granted, but at the time, something that was very innovative. Of course, there was a huge demand for this and a huge interest. In the first month, we had 20,000 uh, customers on this new service. Now, fast forward. Today, 2023, we're midpoint of the SDGs. And PESA today has become a resounding success. We have 56 million customers. We have half a million MPESA agents and seven countries. It has evolved into the largest and most advanced fintech platform in Africa. And I'm very pleased to say that actually it carries 26 billion transactions annually. That's two and a half times Amex, or American Express as we know it. Today, M-Pesa is also an integral part on how you build platforms in Africa, be it around agricultural loans, or be it around how do you do pay-as-you-go usage of solar power for homes. So it has become transformation and integrated in every people, everyone's lives. I don't want to spend too much time going through with all the benefits of MPESA. I thought it would be much better if we asked Juliana, one of our agents for MPESA in Tanzania, to tell you about how MPESA has transformed her life. Chocha kola ndoto chanesi. Alikuja menijia wa wabuda komu. Haka niereza kuhusu habali ya mpesa. Nika sema ngoja nijaribu nika haza. Kwa mtaji mdogo kabisa wa shiringi la kisita. Nikaona faida iliyokuemo katika mpesa. Nilijuwana na watu wengi. Sana. Umo umo katika kuhuza hiyo mpesa. Nika pata faida nyingine kubwa. Na nime somesha watoto. Nime jenga nyuma. Nime nunuwa gali. Juliana's message. Thank you. <laughs> Juliana's message to all of us is a message of hope. And of course, she's part of those that have been able to transform her life by living in a digitally enabled world. 
Unfortunately, as Doreen and others referred to, there's still 2.6 billion people that are not as fortunate as Juliana, that they still live in an offline world. But I want to make this very concrete because in corporate world, you have to be super concrete. 2.6 billion basically means that we have to connect one additional million every day, single day, from today until 2030. That's one million people we have to connect. That requires an enormous mobilization of effort by all of us. So let me call out three actions that we at Vodafone believe are absolutely essential that we can all rally behind. First, we need a significant investment strategy and mobilization of funding for connectivity, particularly in the least developed countries. Second, we need smartphone for alls. This cannot continue to be something that is available for the rich or for those that are more fortunate to be born into a, a higher income. Third, we need to make sure that we build applications and platforms that are specifically targeted at the needs of those that uh, struggle in society, those that are vulnerable and marginalized groups, like MPES has been for financial inclusion, or like which the doctor referred to, how you build agricultural platforms, how you build healthcare platforms, how you build educational platforms, which we'll hear more about at the panel. At the end of the day, the clock is ticking, one million per day, every day, from now to 2030. But I'm convinced if we mobilize behind this objective, we can do it. And we can truly democratize technology to the benefit of everyone. Thank you.